Empathy defines the life of our next remarkable woman, a Savannah advocate with a mission to never leave any child behind. WSAB's Jessica Coombs takes us inside the Coastal Children's Advocacy Center to meet their executive director. Kids just want you to listen to them. They just want you to sit down and just hear what they have to say. Listening takes time, but help requires heart. Sometimes we think, oh, this doesn't mean anything, but it means a lot to that child. It's everything to that child. Rose Grant Wiseman devotes her life to seeing the world through a child's eyes, offering her heart and hands to help them work through some of the most difficult moments in their life. So a lot of times with trauma, it causes so much more harm. It harms your health. It harms your way you think about things. It also can harm a community because when kids are hurt, they hurt back. With more than 20 years as an advocate, the community leader says compassion for others led her to a career connecting thousands of families with resources to heal. We work with children who have been either physically or sexually abused, um, and they reported it. That's the, the part about this is someone reported it on their behalf or they reported it themselves. We work with kids from the age of three until the age of 17 who have been victimized. And our job here is to make sure that we can convey their story in a, a way that is um, their story, not ours. Right now, one in seven kids experiences physical abuse or neglect. Every year, the Coastal Children's Advocacy Center sees hundreds of kids who walk through their doors hoping to be healed. The need is significant. Um, I know in the beginning of the shelter in place, we had more kiddos cases than ever before. Um, a lot of the kids were unsupervised. Their parents were essential workers. Fighting to keep the advocacy center open through the pandemic, Rose says she didn't want the people who needed their help to ever feel like they were alone. They're already going through one type of trauma, then now we got the pandemic on top of it too as well. So a lot of kids are being depressed. Suicide is another issue too with that, um, comes along with that issue. So, you know, it makes us want to work harder to provide. Even with ongoing budget cuts, clients, staff, and community are the priority for this leader mother and friend who's known as someone you can count on. We see kids who go hungry, who don't have things that they need, just even small things like little toys. Um, I have a son and when he was little, all he ever wanted was just the little racing cars. And it, back then in Kroger, they was only a dollar, but sometimes people can't even afford to buy those little things. You just hear what people are going through as far as not having a job or just curious of what's going to happen next. And I can say as an employee, I have been blessed not to worry about what's next. Making sure no voice goes unheard was the motivation behind the Hispanic Outreach Center Rose built during a time when many were cutting back resources. She has that spark. She has that love, that drive for her clients. She really leads with her heart. She don't like people to know that, but she does. She doesn't hesitate to go the extra mile to help anyone who reaches out to her. She is so caring and so loving and she doesn't require anything from you. She sees the best version of me, um, but I think every day I get to see the best version of her. Using her love for others to make sure no family is left behind and hoping every child who walks through their doors knows their trauma does not define them. It's much better to try to take care of a child's well-being and make sure they're mentally stable than to deal with an adult. We have to start now. And Rose is at the, she's at that critical state. I think my legacy will always just want to be the one person that you can count on. If Rose don't know the answer, she's going to find the answer for you. And that's the main goal for me, is making sure I find the answer. Reporting in Savannah, Jessica Coombs, WSAV News 3 on your site. And you can meet our finalists every Tuesday on News 3 at 6. To learn more about Rose and the other remarkable women, visit WSAV.com slash remarkable women. And Jessica will introduce you to our winner on April 1st.